Well, doesn't this girl look familiar? In fact, you could say she looks a lot like Jerry. Anyways, uh, hi guys, this is Brayden here, and today we're taking a look at the Safari Limited Dino Dana Feathered Tyrannosaurus. This was the very first of the figures released for the Dino Dana lineup, at least the very first large figure released for the lineup. That was different, because I know they also re-released the 2011 Tyrannosaurus um, with like a QR code support on it. But this is the very first, like, completely new figure they released for the Dino Dana lineup. Uh, the figure itself is, of course, a repaint of Safari's 2017 Tyrannosaurus, the Feathered Tyrannosaurus, which is one of my favorite um, Safari figures, as inaccurate as it is. As inaccurate as old Jerry here is, I still think that figure looks great. This figure um, is obviously a repaint of that mold, and it has been changed... Pretty much n nothing has been changed about the mold itself. Like, the mold itself looks pretty much identical to the original. Even the little scarring, little scars that were on the snout of the original version are still present on this version. So, they didn't really go in and change the mold at all. The only thing they really went in and changed is, of course, the paint scheme, which is supposed to match the Dino Dana Tyrannosaurus design, which gives us this sort of a... Uh, off yellow color scheme. I actually don't think it looks too bad. Um, I really don't think this looks this looks bad at all. I think this uh, color scheme actually isn't is uh, pretty nice. Um, you don't often see a yellow Tyrannosaurus and things, so it's it's pretty nice to see this sort of color scheme. You may notice it is still in the plastic stand because I know from experience that Jerry here doesn't like standing up outside of it. So I have no reason to believe that Terry here would uh, like to stand outside of her stand anymore. Um, so, I am keeping the stand for this thing. I really wish I had kept the stand for the Safari Dinochirus, because that figure also has a lot of trouble standing. I know there are apparently ways to correct that with, like, hot water, but I'm not, I'm not skilled enough to do that, so. Overall, um, for a repaint of a mold, this isn't a terrible repaint. I just question why exactly they decided to repaint this figure. Because, uh, for those of you unaware, the idea of a fully feathered Tyrannosaurus Rex like this is considered less and less likely now, thanks to newer discoveries of primarily scaly Tyrannosaurus fossils and the fact that it is believed now that an animal of this size would probably lose a decent amount of its feathering so that it wouldn't overheat because of how hot it was. Um... In 2017, it was arguably still okay to make a figure like this, uh, which is the reason why Safari's 2017 Tyrannosaurus got away with it. But by 2020, I think is when this figure was released. I'm going to look and see what does the copyright date say on this. It's a little hard to see. Oh, it actually still just has 2017 stamped on it. They didn't even change the copyright date on this thing. Uh, even though I know this figure came out around like 2020 or so, so... Uh, they very easily... I understand why they didn't do this, because I get the feeling Safari was not doing well financially around that time, which is probably the reason why every year has had less and less releases from them. Like, the last several years, we've only had, like, three figures each. So, that's... It's unfortunate, but it's also kind of understandable, because like everyone, they seem to get really badly affected by a certain global pandemic. Um... So, I understand them not, but I, I, I wish they maybe had retooled the mold a little bit, you know, removed some of the feathering to make it a little bit more accurate to what we know now, but, and accurate to the, to the show's design, actually, because I believe the show's design uses a more conservative feathering along the back, but the rest of the body is scaly designed for their Tyrannosaurus. Still, though, I don't think the figure looks bad at all. Um, if you're interested... And if you didn't pick up the 2017 Tyrannosaurus mold, this is definitely a good opportunity to get your hands on said mold. Um, if you aren't really that interested, slash you don't really care for a fully feathered Tyrannosaurus, then I can't really convince you to get this. But overall, I think this figure looks pretty good despite the inaccuracies.